Hello everyone, the Spring Arbor event has officially launched in Survivor.io and this is going to last seven days. And if there's one thing I want you to take away from this is to save your water droplets unless you are using a golden watering can. In the past, we've had bingo events where we've gone and spent 200 gems to get a ticket, use that ticket on the board. Well, this one, we can spend 200 gems on one of these golden watering cans, but if you don't have any water droplets to put inside it, well, you're just sitting there with a golden bucket. The reason we wanna save these water droplets is if we use 10 of them inside the silver watering can, it's only going to increase our tree growth by 10%. But if we put 10 of these in a golden one, that's gonna increase it 30% for you. Every day, the game's gonna give us 10 chances to water somebody else's tree, but don't worry, it's not gonna waste any of your own water droplets. But we're going to get 10 golden watering cans out of this, and if you do have the water droplets to go with this, this pretty much ensures that you're going to be getting three trees planted every day. For seven days, that's going to be a guaranteed 21 trees. Every time you water one of your own trees, you can get a chest at 25, 50, 75, and 100%. And what's inside them is completely random, but a lot of the times you're gonna be getting things like gear, tech parts, essence, gems, revive tokens, and even scripts. And getting the water droplets is pretty standard, logging in every day, playing chapters, doing daily challenges, doing quick patrols, and opening chests. For the rewards, don't expect to get the S grade chest at 100 trees unless you plan on spending money. And that also goes with the 50 trees where you can get two random pieces of excellent equipment. I would encourage you though to try to go for those survivor shards at 25 trees and 30 trees depending on how many gems you have and keys you might have saved up going into this event. And as I said in the beginning, you definitely want to hang on to those golden watering cans, otherwise you're just going to be wasting gems and keys inside the game. And for the server side of the event, I don't think I've ever played a heavy game where we didn't achieve that 100%, so you can pretty much expect to get the border, get the keys, get the gems, and everything else that comes with it. I'm really excited to see some of these survivor shards outside of Special Ops. I think this is going to be a great way to advance inside the game, but really curious to know what you guys think about some of the rewards in here. Are you getting good stuff? Do you think you're going to get that S grade chest? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't seen the whole new friend system that came out, check out this video right here or watch the one that YouTube thinks is going to be best for you. Thanks for watching guys and remember, I pick my butt.